The U.S. Department of Defense has announced an important development test for the tactical high-speed offensive ramjet for extended range, Thor-ER, a hypersonic rocket engine jointly developed by the U.S. and Norway. The Ministry of Defense described it as an important milestone and said the test vehicle had successfully fired several times. The test demonstrated the effectiveness of the thruster technology and demonstrated a significant increase in effective range. The U.S. and Norwegian governments jointly established the Thor-ER program in 2019. The goal is to develop full-scale solid-fuel thruster technology prototypes that are affordable, capable of high speeds, and have long range. The program will end with flight demonstrations in real conditions. In April 2020, the department said that the Thor-ER defense project aims to develop solid-fuel rocket engines that will allow missiles to travel at hypersonic speeds. The program relies on a cooperative research effort involving the Office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Research and Engineering, the Norwegian Defense Research Institute, NAMO, and other defense partners. Recent tests have achieved the goals of Thor-ER Phase 1. The purpose of Phase 1 is to demonstrate the jointly developed propulsion technology in flight, including new high-energy propellants, sophisticated air injection and throttle techniques, all necessary for upcoming missions. The first flight, on August 17th, demonstrated an unguided vehicle with a steady SFRJ operating at various heights and speeds. The second test focused on a high-thrust flight profile the following day. Both flights were successful, given that they demonstrated high supersonic speeds before ramjet burnout and splashdown. Program officials will continue to evaluate system performance based on telemetry and other data obtained during testing. The SFRJ flight vehicle was accelerated to above Mach 2 with the help of a solid rocket booster and transitioned to ramjet mode. The flight phase was a resounding success with stable flight, robust ramjet operation, and a high thrust-to-drag ratio, said the executive vice president of aerospace propulsion at the Nordic Ammunition Company, Stein Erik Nodland. The flights were carried out in accordance with the calculations for the flight, which showed a long-distance high-speed trajectory. In general, this is a real milestone. Although not the first ramjet vehicle, it was the first modern ramjet vehicle with the potential for vast improvements in range, target time, and maneuverability. For the first time, the United States could fall behind its rivals in a major new arms race to develop hypersonic missiles that China and Russia have tested or deployed. A missile is hypersonic when it travels at least five times the speed of sound or about 5,600 kilometers per hour. These missiles can reportedly carry nuclear or conventional weapons capable of destroying ships and other critical military infrastructure. This new arms competition has the potential to alter strategic calculations. Russian officials have positioned hypersonic craft with nuclear weapons to safeguard against potential U.S. capability to shoot down ICBMs, which might compromise nuclear deterrence. The latest test is another step in the U.S. research and development efforts to build hypersonic weapons. According to Norwegian aerospace partner NAMO, the Russian and Chinese technology demonstration has compelled Washington to increase its hypersonic research and development. The United States hopes to invest in this technology to gain a competitive advantage in the field of energy. Thor-ER has been hailed as a new technology that can greatly benefit the security of the United States and its allies. The United States must work closely with its allies to ensure that allies have the best possible capabilities. Stephen Farmer, Director of Advanced Concepts, Prototyping and Experimentation for the Naval Air Warfare Center's Weapons Division, predicts the SFRJ will revolutionize the U.S. Navy and its allies. However, recent efforts by the United States and Norway could be of significant help to United States efforts to promote hypersonic technology.